All right, welcome to the video review, uh, bourbon review from ironandbourbon.com. Um, here we are in the wonderful state of Illinois, sitting in the Windy City. I believe it's the capital. I believe it's the capital of Illinois. Yep. Chicago. Oh, um, yeah. Up on the twenty-fifth floor of the Fairmont Hotel. No, don't get specific, man. Beautiful, beautiful lake view. Um, should have seen it in the daytime, so. Yeah, should have saw how much uh, pizza he ate earlier, too. Yeah, deep dish. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> uh, all right, so today what we're going to be looking at is this Eagle Rare. You got the whole bottle in there? Yeah, somewhere around there. All right. Got it? Yep, give them the, give them the notes. All right, the notes are, of course, this is a pretty popular one. This one's coming from Buffalo Trace. It's at 90 proof. Usually you can purchase it for around $35. And back in the day, you say 10 years on it. So I'm assuming it's, the, it's still the same age for about 10 years. Going back to Ohio, whew, we see this once or twice a year. Yeah, used to be more I've often. Really I've seen it hidden behind shelves before. Yeah. That's it, so. yeah, it's pretty easy to find in, in other states, but Ohio stinks for bourbon, so. All right. In your face. You gotta get a quick pour. Please. In these beautiful new glasses. Oh, I can't wait to show these off. Cannot wait. Oh. All right, show them the color, Brandon. Oh. Oh, that's a start with the glass. Oh, Ironandbourbon.com. Making our way in the world, so. There's a take uh, a little look at it. Definitely an amber, gold color to it nothing too deep yeah it's a like a light copper pretty clear see-through so yeah take that should we take a smell let's go get like a initial sweetness on yeah. it like an orange peel sweetness i don't smell much heat i smell a little alcohol you on the get back, a little bit in there back end of it i didn't get my nose in there i guess maybe i got no, I still don't get much. All the caramel type of notes, like say orange peel, sweet, sweet on sweet. Candied orange peel. Ooh. I don't know if I've ever had candy. I'm sure in Chicago we can find it. Oh, that. you've already found donuts <laughs> at 9 o'clock at night, so it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out where a some candied orange peel is. All right, take a little taste. I got to swirl it first. Oh, okay. All right, now let's go. This is extremely sweet to me. That orange pill is still there. Maybe some like uh, cherries, vanilla. Pretty like, balanced, uh, just like a touch of heat on the back end, but not much for me. Maybe even like some like raisins. Do you? Yeah, I usually don't get the you know reading a lot of reviews and stuff. I usually don't get the cherry flavor that people. This one Oof. I do. I get like. A, like a maraschino cherry. A what cherry? Maraschino. Mm. Those are uh, the expensive ones in the. Well, they're selling for one cent at Benny's, but um, <laughs> yeah, I get I get a lot of the cherry flavor. Maybe a, um, the sugar. You don't get any like pepper notes in this thing for sure. Um, mm. Really don't get the alcohol notes, the heat on it. So I would say it's more of a sweet. I don't get like the vanilla yet. I thought you said you got that. Uh, no, maybe a little bit, but it's, I say like, it's like a, a raisin flavor to it. Have you, do you remember the raisin nets? Yeah. Do you remember them? Was that the commercial? <laughs> it's a pretty good little band. Yeah. Yeah. It was a really good little band. A little heard it through the grapevine, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so if you're looking for a sweet bourbon, I think Eagle Rare, if you can find it, it's not a, way, not a bad way to go. Um, like you said, the uh, orange notes, I think you can mm. kind of pull out mm. from the flavor. Definitely some cherry. Uh, I don't get much oak from it. Barrel? No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. In 10 years, you would think maybe there'd be a little bit more in there. But these are also, you know, this is 
one of the first bourbons that I think we re reviewed where it says on the website or something that these are like hand-picked barrels. These just aren't anything being thrown together. So this is... Maybe this, what they're looking for in yeah. the bourbon, though, is a little sweeter bourbon. I, yeah. I don't mind it. Uh, no, no. It's I, almost like a cognac. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've never I think it even had... On, I think it, even um, on the bottle, this is something about... Um, putting ice in mine. Not that it needs it. Reminiscent of a fine port wine. It says that on there? Yeah. I don't read, Reminiscent so... Reminiscent of a fine port wine. I got my sunglasses on. I can't really see anything, but... Yeah. You have to trust me on that one. It is mouthfeel. Pretty light. Uh, not, not not very thick. Not nah. syrupy by any means. Nah. Uh, not necessarily water, but uh, not... Not too creamy. But you, haven't uh, they, this, you haven't had this ten dollar hotel water yet either, though, so you know, you can't judge it. It's a big water. You got to give them that at least, yeah. right? Yeah, it is. It's big. So, should we review this thing? Yeah, let's uh, let's knock out some Eagle Rare. Right. Again, uh, <clears throat> ironandbourbon.com, five pan rating. Show them the. Yeah, there you go. Uh, again, we can go anywhere from. I don't think we can go down to zero, so... Well, uh, we'll see. So, anyways, um, let's rate this Eagle Rare up. I'll start on it. You gotta get one more sip before oh. I can start. I didn't do it with ice, not... Did you try ice? Mm. It doesn't really change it, because I mm. think ice kind of mellow stuff. I think even ice maybe brought out some spice in it somehow. Or maybe because we've had a couple drinks of it. <laughs> All right, no. so Eagle Rare, I think it's a pretty solid bourbon. Um, definitely, like, doesn't blow me away. So I would give it, I think, a 3.65. Okay. That's a decent score. I, uh, I agree with you to the fact that it's just very mellow. Like, there's no pronounced notes in it of anything. It just blends well together. Which is, I guess, a good thing. It doesn't necessarily challenge the old palate too much, but for thirty-five bucks, it's it goes down pretty well, dude. So I'll go three point five five pans. Now, as somebody that's like a little bit new to this, we didn't really talk too much about the price of it. Um, at that thirty-five dollar price range, would you be expecting something that's maybe a little bit more um, sophisticated on the palate or challenging on the palate or? I just don't think that's what they're going for. Obviously, Buffalo Trace knows exactly yeah, what they're like doing right and stuff. Yeah, that's like Maker's Mark area. Yeah. And so, like, you kind of think of that as, like, the, I yeah. don't know, the medium. But I think of Eagle Rare as maybe being a little bit higher than a yeah. Maker's. And... Is it because we can never get it? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. So, it's good. It's fantastic. It's, like I say, for $35, she's a heater, kids. All right. Again, that's... Eagle Rare by Sazerac. Um, again, check out the rest of our website, www.ironandbourbon.com. Those oyster crackers are good. Oyster crackers are always good.